Fernando, good night. How are you? <laughs> There's a do lollipop. Yes, it is. Is it? Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, what's going to happen with the salutaries? Uh, because the, I had to move out. I uh -huh. I didn't remember buy some. Ah, uh, oh, so you you couldn't buy it. Oh. Yes. Uh, maybe the next Sunday. Exactly. So instead, you uh, you are showing the lollipop. That's good. You know what? Mm -hmm. I love ones that it tastes like a beer and the other one tastes like a banana. Uh, it is like a with. Oh, those are like Mexican ones, right? Yes. What what flavor is a mango? It's spicy. It's a spicy. Yeah, is a mango? No. No, this is only uh, candy with the spicy. Ah, which one? Chili. But yes, they have the different layers. Uh huh. Exactly. You know what? I remember that I used to have a friend who went to Mexico, and he brought me like the one that has like a mango shape, but at the same time mango flavor, with some chili, right? Yes. And also there was like a toothpaste. Another one is like a toothpaste, but it's like a tamarindo. Toothpaste. Tamarindo. Ooh, that's it's very delicious. Common. Yeah. You know one, the other one one I like is mezcal. Mezcal one. Mezcal. Yeah, there is a there is a lollipop of mezcal, and actually mm. the swarm is inside. Mm. So actually, when you finish it, you need to eat this little animal as well. It's, you are like a uh, tipping. Aha! Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> that is is really nice. But I have a really long time without tasting it. I try one of them. Hey, are you Mexican? No. 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 Oh, uh, <laughs> oh well. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. No. <laughs> no. Nowadays, it's it's easy to find some Mexican products here, right? Yes, in uh -huh. the, the malls. In the malls, Supermar yeah. Sometimes supermarkets. Uh huh. I have a really close mall here. It's a small one. Uh, it is like um. I think how many how many blocks, um, like a five or six blocks ahead uh, from the Cuscatlan um, um, Stadium, and I think there is a little space there when they like sell uh, Mexican products. Yeah, you know what? I also found a a place where you can uh, buy like some Arabic products. Arabic products. Yeah, yeah. Especially like like tipping things, for example. Those are really good. Mm, I will let you know once. Hey, <laughs> you see now Mr. Freddy's is drinking coffee, right? I don't know. Tea or water or Coke. No idea. Oh. Coke, right? <laughs> I was guessing. Everybody's like showing on drinking something. What about Doris? Doris, do you have anything to drink? Like water, no, nothing, no. Just water, water. Okay, okay. So everybody's drinking something right now, or showing something. That's good. What about you, William? William is always eating. <laughs> what is on the menu today? <laughs> what is on today's um, menu? Some tea. Some tea. Okay. Most of you are drinking something, right? Okay. What happened with the watermelon? Just finished. You finished it already? Wow, that's cool. But you know what? Today it hasn't been too hot, right? Yeah. It's normal. It, it has, Freddy? Really? Yeah, it's still hot right here in Acajutla. Oh, you're in Acajutla? Yeah. For real? Yay! That's nice. Oh my god, I can't go there and ask for some fish. Terms, lobster. Oh, wow. I know it's really hot there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, I want one. Let me double check. Oof, I think it's like 10 years ago I went to Acajutla. That's the last, yeah, that's the last time that I that was there actually. Mm -hmm. 
because that what that is one of the the, the ways that you take with the routes that you take to go to the safari shopping right and it's really hot there Oof. yes it is i don't know you know what we went to a to a beach i don't know what what was the name of the beach to be honest with you i hardly remember but uh, they said that in, if you arrive to that place really really early morning you could see like a, par a different type of parrot fish that they just come with the whales yeah um that's on um, los cobano I, I don't know I, I don't know it was well we were like in the route and we do not turn on the left side because on the left side you go to the los cobanos right we, yeah so we turn it to the right side the right type. Yeah, so I don't know, to be honest with you, I can hardly remember the name of the bitch, but that's what so they said. To, um, Metalillo? That might be, I don't know. Santiago? I think it was Metalillo, but I don't remember exactly. I should ask my husband because I, I don't remember. It was a long time ago, but I wish I could see them. The, par the parrot fish, you know what parrot fish are? Yeah? The one that, uh, that eats the corals? Pez Perico, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Is the one that uh, co come los corales y um, produce lo que es la arena blanca, right? So we, so we los have it here. Los Cabanos? Yeah. Okay, maybe. I to be honest with you, I don't remember, but I love that place. It was really, really nice, but that was a long so time the, ago. Mm. The white sand starts from. Let's see from the left side of Sepa. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that place better than me. Well, going towards um, Los Cobanos and all that. Guys, I'm so happy because I could, I could find one piece of jewelry. Well, it's not actually like a je expensive jewelry, right? But I could find it because I love Baby Yoda. Yeah? Baby what? Baby Yoda. Star Wars. Ah, okay. Boba Fett. Can you see? Yeah. I could find one. Yeah. You see? There is yeah. a baby Jada here. You see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a bracelet. <laughs> yeah, and I found this. I was, I'm so happy about it. I'm going to search for more so I can uh, buy one for my sister because she loves it too as well. I was so happy. Like, <laughs> I'm so happy about it. Oh. What? made of gold no i don't know i just bought it <laughs> actually there's some pearls i think i found it yeah i found it i love it the first one that is on because i was searching for a lot of baby jota stops because i love baby jota but um i just found this one and and there were and they have baby jota they have arturito they have citripio they do have also like uh what's the name of that that is tall and it looks like a bird. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that Star Wars? Remember? Oh no, actually, I don't like Star Wars. So. I forgot. I forgot. Completely forgot. But Chihuahua or Chihuahua? I think so. That was the name of it. I, I think you're, you're, yeah, exact. I, I think you're not so fan of Star Wars, right? Nope. No. You are, you are like more like anime, I think. Yeah. Like Naruto. <laughs> no, I don't like Naruto. You don't like Naruto? I, that's the no. only anime that I think I know. <laughs> the, last, the last anime that I saw, and I liked it, it was um, Los Siete Pecados Capitales. No idea. Yeah, I know the, I know the, the, the movie. I have seen the movie, but not like anime ones. I don't know if it's the same as the movie, bro. You it's, know what? I think... Meliora's. Uh -uh. I only know Naruto right now, and I used to like watch like um what's the name? What's the name of that person? Uh, Dragon Ball Z. I used to watch when I was a kid. Yeah, and I used to watch like Pikachu. <laughs> Pokemon, yeah. Yeah, Pokemon. I used to love it when it said Pika Pika. I, I like it. It was really cute, actually. But I think you know, that's all Pokemon one. video games. Uh, no, you know what? I have never played be Pokemon video games. No, the last one that I played it was Sega. Like Sony, Drink. the Sony. Dreamcast or Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast or. I don't know. It was in nineteen ninety something. 
<laughs> so to be, to be honest with you, like, woo, long time ago, if, if I cannot, if I don't speak with my um, um, niece, I wouldn't know anything regarding um, animes. Because I know anime because some of you, because I used to have another uh, another students that they really like anime holic and they taught me a lot of things, right? It's especially Naruto, right? That's the only one that I know. But right now, no. But I promise I will try to like search for more information about that. <laughs> yes, you know what? It's really important to know a lot about a lot of topics, right? Because you can speak with a lot of people with a different topic, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm a person who is like that, open-minded and, and reads about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because you won't get lost in a conversation. Uh-huh, exactly. And because my my um my specialty, I'm a journalist. So I need to know about a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. And and I'm you know what? I love to investigate as well, which is really interesting. You know what? My father used to have like uh, books everywhere around the house especially on the bathroom. Yeah, so you love reading. Yeah, I love to read a lot. You know what? I, yeah, I love, I love it. Um, basically, if, if I'm in, uh, on a hamaca right now, uh, down the tree uh, with, a, with a good book, a piece of cake and a cup of coffee, I'm fine. Or oh, with a coconut as well. I, because I love coconut. <laughs> Ooh, yes, that's my fan. It's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but I prefer the one that has more water. The baby ones, the tender ones. Uh, yeah. I think uh, I think there are ones that are like one coconut that are not green. They are like brown. Well, those are the ones that... Or, or, or orange. Like I don't know. Or, like, ah, the, the, the yellow ones. Ah, the yellow one. Yes. I love them because the water is really sweet. Yeah, it's more sweeter than the green ones. Yeah, in, in, in Costa Rica, that's what they call agua de pipa. Agua de coco, yeah. Because pipa there is, pa, is, a, is a straw. It's a straw. Okay. So in Mexico, they call it popote. <laughs> popote, yeah, exactly. Popote, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. So agua de pipa is agua de coco. That's interesting, right? Yeah, you can ask Delmita. Delmita has enjoyed the class. When I was in the US, Ooh. I was like, I was like, um, me regalo una pajilla. And, and the Mexican people were like, ¿Qué es pajilla? Una pajilla. And I was actually showing them and they're like, ah, popote, eso se llama popote, niño. Exactly. <laughs> oh, for example, eh, las cintas de los zapatos se llaman agujetas. Uh, exactly, yeah. So, you know, see, that's really interesting, right? We need to learn a lot of yeah. vocabulary also in Spanish. Guys, let's let's play something. Um, this game is really crazy game because you got to say three first words that come up to your mind. It doesn't have to, like, have, like, um, coordination with what your previously uh, classmates said. It could be crazy things. I just want you to help me and say it in, let me double check, in two minutes. Each of you will say three words and then I'm going to pass with the other one and with the other one, the other one. So let's listen carefully. Who's going to be the first, the second, the third? Listen carefully your number, okay? Because once we start, I will ask you to turn off your microphones, all of you. Okay, I will ask you about that. Number one is going to be Fernando. Number two will be Freddy's. Number three, Doris. Number four, Erwin. Number five, Francisco. Number six, William. Number seven, Joshi. Number eight, Katia. Number nine, Glinda. Number 10, Josue. Number 11, Andres. Number 12, Madeline. And number uh, 13, Alexander, and number 14, Kenya. Okay? Yeah, got it? Yeah? Okay, so I want everybody to open your microphone, and I want you to say three words. I don't care about which word. It could be uh, food. It could be a book. It could be like days of the week. I don't know. You got to invent. You need to say the first three words that come to your mind, and I wanted to do it like this faster. Okay? 
So do you under, do you remember who's going to be first, second, and third? You remember that? Would you let me to recap a little bit? Would you let me to recap or you are fine? I'm fine. Uh, recap or recap, no recap? Please, please. Okay. First one, Fernando. Second, Freddy's. Third, Doris. Fourth, Erwin. Fifth, Francisco. Sixth, Alexander. Katia, seven. Joshi, eight. I was Linda, seven. Uh, ah, it's because somebody else is joining the class. So let me recap. Mm -hmm. Fernando, Freddy's. Number three is Doris. Number four, Erwin. Number five, Francisco. Number six, William. Number seven, Katia. Number eight, Joshi. Number nine, Glenda. Number 10, Josue. Number 11, Andres. 12, Madeline. 13, Alexander. And 14, Kenya. Got it? Yeah? Yes. Okay, and I'm going to be the last one. All right. So I want everybody turn off, oh no, turn off your microphone, please. Turn it on, turn it on, please. Open your microphones. Miss, I'm sorry, I went to the bathroom. Uh, can you repeat the, the instruction, please? The instructions is that you need to, to say three, for, three words that come to your mind, the first three words, but you gotta say it faster. Okay. It could be anything, okay? But we're going to like practice like, fitness okay so do me a favor uh, i'm going to put my chronometer right now allow me just a couple of minutes i will let you know when i'm ready are you ready guys anything it could be anything okay candy water bed something like that it's not complicated there you go let me double check chronometer are you guys ready yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Go, Fernando. Uh, smartphone, keyboard, headphones. Continue. Popcorn, bicycle, car. Continue. Book, chair, table. Continue. Erwin. Board, board, table, button. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Francisco. Computer, computer mouse, table. Mm -hmm. William. Don Dog, dart, and soccer. Andres? Uh, bed, computer, uh, cell phone. But Joshi? Book, computer, coffee. Katia? Dibujo, examen, aprobar. Glenda? She's not there. Josue? She's not there. Madeline? Car, sky, um, helicopter. Very good. Uh, Madeline? Moon, sun, car. Alexander? No. Kenya? No. No llegamos a Kenya. Tienen que ser más rápidos. You gotta be faster. Faster, okay? Por favor, turn your microphones on. I want you open it. Porque por eso se tardan un montón. Okay? Ready? Let me more them. One, two, three. Go, Fernando. Uh, another yeah. words or the same words? Ay. The other. Invent. Vámonos otra vez. Okay. okay. Ah, dale. Go. Uh, scream, uh, wall, door. Uh -huh. Continue. Teacher, student, laptop. Mm -hmm. Doris? Microphone, hands, hairs. Erwin? Sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher, no. Aha, uh -huh. Francisco. Mother, brother, sister. William. Glass chair table. Andres. Uh, soccer TV. Uh, Yoshi. Window, pencil, paper. Katia. Universidad, escuela, trabajo. Very good. Glendy. It's not here. Josué. Sky, car, and orange. Madeline. Boy, car, mother. Alexander. No, Kenya. <laughs> Kenya. Computer, phone, funny. No, no, por ti, por ti vamos a tener que empezar otra vez. Ah, oh así ve, I need it like that, like that. No estén like, eh, no. Lo primero que le salga. 
No quiero, eh, uh, uh, no quiero muletillas. Ok, no muletillas. Telmita, welcome to the jungle. Welcome, Jesse. Estamos a, jugando. Eh, que quiero que digan tres palabras. La primera que se les venga a la cabeza, pero tiene que ser así, al chilazo. ¿Sí? Y no I quiero que it. sea, uh, 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 no, no, no. I got it. You got it, sí. Tú vas a ser la última. Después de Kenia va Jesse y después de Jesse va Telma. Depende okay. de ustedes el que Telma tenga tiempo para decirlo. Un minuto. Un minuto. Ready? El mismo orden. One, two, three, go. Like TV, bubblegum. Never house street. Door and piggy head. Uh -huh. Here we. Ok, Francisco. Teacher, mom and sister. Ok, Will. Book, uh, sheet, cell phone. Ok, Andrés. Notebook, door, window. Joshi. Water, mother, teddy bear. Katia. Computadora, eh, teléfono y tecla. <laughs> Glanda. Nadie. <laughs> Josué. Thank you, Sky. Ok, Madeline. Cat, dog, horse. Ah, Alexander. No está aquí. Kenya. Hello, goodbye, compu. Very good. Jessica. Ten key bottle. Telmita. Hurry up, Telmita. Dilo. Handkerchief, coop, hair. Very good. 54 seconds. Woohoo! Congratulations. Not too bad. Can we beat the score, guys? Can we beat it? ¿Creen que lo podemos lograr? ¿Lo podemos? ¿Podemos hacer un better score? What do you think? Can we beat it? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, 54. Do you think that it's possible to say it in 50 seconds instead of 54? Maybe. Maybe? You want to try? Maybe. Okay. I want you to be like a Speedy Gonzalez, look like a Lento Fernandez, okay? <laughs> Lento, Fer Lento Fernandez was the brother of Speedy Gonzalez. ¿Sabían eso? You remember the cartoons? No? Oh, yeah. You see? I'm not too old, but I still remember those. Okay. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Um, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the spirit that I need. Come on, energy. That's what I need. All right? Let's rock. Okay, Fernando. One, two, three, go. A sound, a smartphone, what? Okay, continue. Oh, what? Stop. Continue. Oh, well, uh, lashes and night. Very good, Erwin. Sky, fly, fly. Okay, Francisco. Two are coffee meets. Very good, William. Thank you, three. Joshi. No, Andres. <laughs> Keyboard, cell phone, and TV. Okay, Joshi. Computer, coffee, cream. Very good, Katia. Sugar, coffee, milk. Very good, Glenda. She's not here. Josue. Wash, apple, cut. Very good, Madeline. One, two, three. Very good, Kenya. <laughs> One, two, four. Very good, Jesse. Helmet, bread cup. Very good, Telmita. No small teeth. Very good, 51 seconds, not too bad. Isn't it amazing, guys? Yeah, right, yeah. Do you think we can make it 30 seconds? Yeah. Or, it's too, it's, or it's too much? Oh, I'm asking too much. Too much. <laughs> I too much. It's because you're like, mm, no way. Maybe okay. 45. Come on, people. 45? We can 45? try. The last yes, one, 45? All right. 45. <laughs> All right. It depends on you. It depends on you. Are you guys ready to rock and roll right now? Yeah? Okay. Fernando, you gotta be ready, my man. Okay. Stop shooting. Okay? All right. <laughs> one, two, three, go. A uh, beer, desktop, uh, sound. Okay, Friday continue. First. All right, Doris. Green, orange, yellow. Erwin. I saw the lake. Very good, Francisco. And a sister, mom. Very good, Will. Yeah, boys, parents. All right, Andres. Table, glasses, chair. Very good, Joshi. Dinner, yellow, cream. Very good, Katia. Table, please, uh, and look. Very good, Josue. Wash, apple, and table. Madeline. Brush, rose, loss. Very good, Kenya. I like eating. Very good, Jessica. 
Oh, gas car. Very good. Delma. Coop, spoon, fork. Wow, you beat it. 42 seconds. <laughs> Bravo. Fantastic. Way to go, guys. Excellent. Now we're going to do something else. Teacher. Yes. It's not easy, right? It's not easy. And I didn't give you like category. With category, it's a little bit harder. Oh, no. If I said just category like red color, right? You gotta say anything that is red, right? Or yeah, yeah or animals or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it does a little bit challenging. Okay, now I will do something challenging as well. <laughs> um, no, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Okay, I'm going to um. I'm going to send you, one of you, one of you right now, everybody will participate, or at least I will try to, to everybody, to most of you participated, but I'm going to send you a one question. That is a personal question. You gotta think it, uh, how you're going to explain the answer for the question, but you need to speak for one minute about that question, for one minute. I don't know what you're gonna say. If you want to invent, I don't care, but I want you to speak for one minute and I'm gonna count it. All righty, I'm gonna count it. So, <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> All righty, guys, let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. All righty. Ah, they changed it into Spanish. Why? Oh, my husband was using this, this computer, so no way. I don't want you to change it into Spanish. Come on. All righty. Oh, yes, find it. Okay. I think he's who's going to receive it. Eh. Okay. Freddy's. I sent you a question. Freddy's, go ahead. Just Freddy's. Fred is going to receive that question. That's difficult going... for me. Oh, no, well, I don't know. You got to do it. Especially why you ask me right now. That's I difficult. know. I know. Only Fred is can see that. Uh-huh. Hmm. Are you ready? Wait, wait, wait. I need to think. No, exactly. I'm not going to give you like five minutes to think. No, no way. No. <laughs> you see the whole class? No way. Baby. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. What was the question? What activity makes you happy? Okay. Are you are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Go. The activity that makes me happy is actually visiting my grandmother because she saw we have to drive um all the way to San Vicente, and actually we only go like around let's say three or four times in the whole year because we have to find exactly the, the perfect day in order to go over there. We actually have to coordinate with my dad in order to go over there. He has to be in, on his day off of work and I have to be on my day off of work because we go all, all together in family. Mm -hmm. We actually wake up around three o'clock in the morning. I go to where I work at for I could supply the water. And um, after I supply the water, I take the shower. We all get ready and I check the car is on perfect condition. Let, let's say for the second time I check it for a per, perfect condition because I, well, a day before I checked it uh, in order to be sure that it's not gonna be something damaged before I before we leave to some Stop there. Very good job. Very good job. You accomplished the challenge. Congratulations. Very good. <laughs> hey. awesome, yeah, excellent. Good job, sir. Was it easy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? You see, you get excited. I was 20 seconds. <laughs> I, no, you know, you're one minute. and One minute and one second. All righty. Uh, let me pick the next picking. Sorry, the next participant. Thank you, Freddy's. The next participant, let's see. Oh, my goodness. This is really interesting. Uh-huh. Ay, my goodness. Okay, I know who I'm going to ask that question. Uh, 
Um, again, let's see if it's correct. Uh -huh. Okay, Fernando, there you go. What's the question? Who is the most interesting person in your life? Ooh, that's a tough one, right? The most... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Let's see, I'm going to count it. Wait a minute. All right, you can start, go ahead. The most important, the more interesting person in my life. Uh-huh. Continue, you start, you start, talk about something. Continue, uh, the time is counting. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe, uh, well, uh, after I married, maybe mm -hmm. my, my, my wife is the, the most important person in my life. Um, Why, continue. I, because she make, makes me happy and she always uh, cooking for me every day. Ooh. She attends me and maybe she, she does a lot of things for me. And also we enjoy the time that we, we have together. And maybe uh, the, the most, the most uh, extend period that we have time to do things is on weekends and we enjoy all, all the things that we we do. Very good. Excellent. One minute and four seconds. Way to go. Oof, it was not, it's not easy, right? Nope. When you need to like improvise. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to pick somebody else here. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask this question. Uh, uh -huh. This is easy. Okay, Madeline. There you go, Madeline. I want to see your face. Madeline, are you there? Madeline, I think she has to go to the bathroom, right? That's what she said. Yes, yes, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Madeline, that's, I sent you the, the, your question. What's your favorite color? That's easy. <laughs> Me? <laughs> but, but I don't know in, in one minute about the color. I don't know. You got to do whatever you got to do. You can use about if you have clothes of the color, if you, have a, if you look for a car, you can, you need to invent. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Okay. Well, my favorite color is uh, the purple. And I think that is a good color for me mm -hmm. and the best. <laughs> and I like, uh, well, I have a bottle of water. Uh, I have, when I, well, I think I have many things of that color. And I like uh, all, 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 all those things. Uh, related to that color and uh, I will like in the future uh, have my house with that color and uh, like uh, lila I don't know how lila? to say that in, in English but uh, what <laughs> but I will violet. like to, mm -hmm. violet you call uh, it violet a uh, violet and I would like to uh, paint my old house in that color or it uh, has a car with that color. And stop there. That's good. Excellent. <laughs> good job. Good job. Now it's not okay. easy, right? Sometimes it's, 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 a, it's a little bit easier, like that question that I formulated to Freddie and Fernando, because they are more open questions, right? But the question that I formulate to you is kind of hard, like that way. Because what yeah. am I going to say about that color? Okay, <laughs> so let me double check. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm going to pick, no, I'm going to pick somebody else. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. mm -hmm. Okay, Katia, I know 
No, Katia, no. No, 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 no. It's not that I don't want you, Katy. <laughs> eh, ah, yes, Katia, yes, Katia, Katia, Katia. Okay, Katy. There you go. Hello. Hello. What is your favorite animal? That's easy, right, guys? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I will let you know. Go ahead. Okay. My favorite animal is the cats because I think they provide a lot of love and they are unique uh, animals that are along you always. I I I have get um a lot of cats since I was a child. It's my unique pet that I I get uh, since I get I had five years old. So there are different kind of animals around mm -hmm. the whole world, and it's something fantastic because I mean you can see a lot of cats in Egypt, Egypto. I don't know how to say Egypto and Egypt. in Africa and you know, all the world and, and it's really fantastic. So I guess the you will get a um, a cat because they are really fantastic. Um, what else? I don't know. What else? Uh, I get uh, three cats. Yeah, and it's I, up there. Yeah. Good. Very okay. good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Now it comes a little bit of challenge. Joshi. Tell me. Can you turn off your camera, please? I will need you today. Okay. I will need you today for one reason. Guys, I want you guys to please turn on your cameras as well because you're going to help me with Joshi right now. Whoa. What are you going to do, teacher? Ah, you'll see. Mm -hmm. Ali. Uh -huh. You'll see what I'm going to do. Okay, tell me. Imagine you're you are a tour guide. Okay, you imagine that. And there come some guests and some visitors here to El Salvador. So I, I just want you to think where do you take your guests or visitors to your city? Where? Where? But this is the challenge things. Guys, pay really close attention to Joshi. Because if Joshi, for example, like takes whatever thinking about ideas, you gotta say talk. You interrupt her and say talk, talk. You say talk, Joshi, all right? Or for example, if Joshi is using the same word or is repeating herself, you gotta say, okay, got it? Are you willing no, to help on. me? No, it's, it's so not difficult. I am already. I am already. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's not difficult. Why? Because th this exercise is going to help you to try to focus on what you are doing, no matter the environment that you have. Okay. Uh -huh. Next try. Yeah, I know that you gotta do your best. You're a good girl, and you're an excellent girl. So you gotta focus on what you're saying. Doesn't matter if you have like a lot of interruptions. Okay. That's what we have in call center. Call center, everybody's also speaking at the same time. Right? Nobody is not. <laughs> yeah, of course. You got to do it. You ready? In one minute. It's only one minute that I ask. I'm not going to ask you 10 minutes. Ready? Yes, let's try. Okay, go. Go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to El Salvador. And my name is Jason Rivas. And I'm trying to give you for this uh, trick. I will um, give it to you to the Ruta de las Flores. How you feel about Ruta de las Flores? We are going to visit many places, many beautiful places. First, we are going to uh, be at Apaneca. We are going to have a breakfast at, someone say that? <laughs> no. Continue. We are going to uh, be at Apaneca and we are going to have breakfast as Dulce Sueños. We're going to have a nice breakfast. Then we are going to go to uh, 
Now we're into Albania, we are going to have a very good time there. Then we are going to go to uh, Sakwatitan. We are going to eat a typical food here from El Salvador that is called yuca. We are going to test this Stop. and I spoke today. Stop there. Okay. You see, was it hard? Thank you. No, nobody say talk, nobody mm, say yes. ah. All right. Not, but I listened. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were you right? Uh, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me at all. Very good. Do you like guys? Do you like this activity? Yes. It's not easy, right? But it makes you think because you need to learn about to improvise, to improvise it. Yeah. And it's not easy because you need to like wait like what kind of question they're gonna ask me. This is another speaking activity that we're doing right now. Very good, excellent. Guys, I wanna talk about something today. I just wanna know how's your how you're doing with the platform. Freddy's, I like your background. <laughs> uh-huh. How's you guys doing with the platform? You still need some uh, help about that? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, um, I wanna know if you would like to double check the mean turn today. The mean turn? Let's go there, right? Let's go with the meter. Yes, but I have a problem, teacher, with what, the what happened? Tell me. With the with the exercise 1.3. One point three. What's going on there? Mm, I don't know. I try to fill out the this part. However, uh -huh. uh, always the system show the Shows? the issues. Shows. The issues. Yes, I don't the, know why. Uh -huh. Do you check, double check everything? Yes, I check the this answer with the answers. Um, okay, the answer with the Freddy's. However, I don't know what is the problem. Don't worry, I'm going to double check that with you directly. Okay, we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, don't worry yes, about that. Okay, thank you. Because You're welcome. Freddy's and me, we have the same problems. Also, Freddy's, right? Okay. Uh huh. And Janaris. And Janaris too. Generis is like is uh, Jessica, right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, so it's Generis, Freddy's, and you. Okay, no problem. We're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one session today, Francisco. Okay. All thank right. Very much. good. No, thank you. All right, guys. Let me share right now my screen. I think it's going to be this one. Yes, this is the one. Okay. This is the midterm. How many of you have done the midterm yet? Can I have actual midterm ahorita? Uh. Me, teacher. Me. You, Andresito, see? Si? Yeah. Madeline, yes, right? Me, too. Me. Tu? Okay, cool. When is, the, duda? when is the last day to finish the unit three? Hey, it's supposed to be finished today. Today, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. And when you guys to, to work on that, miren, por ejemplo, El, es bien fácil. De hecho, el midterm es prácticamente lo que hemos estado viendo. You can do it. For example, the first one. Choose the correct option. Veamos este. Yo ya lo tengo. Yo ya lo tengo. Pero quiero que lo veamos acá. Dice, if he wants dinner, he will cook. If he wants dinner, he will cook. ¿Cuál de los dos escogieron? El primero, ¿verdad? Este yes. ejemplo es... Ejemplo de first conditional. ¿Por qué es first conditional, chicos? Because we use present at the beginning and future at the end. Exactly. Muy bien. Ya, ya vamos a hablar de eso porque creo que Telmita también tenía algunas dudas, ¿verdad? Con el first y el third conditional. No te preocupes, Telmita. Tengo algo preparado para ti today. Ya verás. Alrighty. What about the second one? If it is cold tomorrow, I stay home. Or if it is cold tomorrow, I will stay home. ¿Cuál de las dos? The second one. The second one. Por lo mismo. Miren, todos esos ejemplos son del first conditional. Hoy voy a hablar en español por una razón, porque quiero que entiendan bien esto. Miren, el verbo es if is, right? If is. El verbo es to be. It will. Y obviamente ya tenemos lo demás, ¿verdad? Miren, el tres. Y el 4 y el 5. Todos estos chicos son first conditional. Si ven en las primeras tres, el está el primero el if part y después el future, ¿verdad? Pero 
En el 4 y el 5 tenemos primero el future y después tenemos el if part. ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda de esta parte? ¿No? No. no. Vale, muy bien. ¿Lo, ¿Y lo tienen tal cual está? ¿Así lo tienen? Oh, ya. Yeah. ¿Sí? Aquí, okay, cool. Veamos entonces el siguiente. Aquí hay, de, hay que completar. Miren. Dice, complete a third conditional sentence. Aquí tenemos que usar el third conditional. Miren. Teacher. Dígame. Doris. So, uh, the answer is, I, I have a problem with this exercise. Ajá. Why, Doris? What's the problem? I don't know. Este, I, I, I try the... The right is, but uh, I don't know. Mira, mira, uh -huh. mira, por ejemplo, aquí te dice que tienes que completar con a third conditional, ¿verdad? Esa es una clave. ¿Te acuerdas cuál es el, la, la, la regla del third conditional? Sí. Va, perfecto. Muy bien. Entonces, fíjate, aquí no tienes que solamente poner los espacios en blanco. Aquí tienes que poner toda la oración. Mira, uh -huh. if she, en paréntesis tenemos check, ¿verdad? The stock market reports, coma, she, y tenemos not lose so much. Va. Entonces, si tú te fijas, aquí está la if part y aquí está el resultado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De esa situación. Como uh -huh. es un third conditional, vamos a usar el pasado del verbo have y el pasado participio del verbo. Como el verbo es check, ese es un verbo regular. ¿Verdad? ¿Cuál es el pasado de check? ¿El pasado participio de check, guys? ¿Si es un verbo regular? ¿Cuál es? With ED. Uh, yeah. Checked. Very good. With ED. Correct. Entonces, mira, tú dices, um, if she had, el pasado, if she had checked, ¿qué? The stock market reports, coma, she would o she wouldn't, ¿verdad? Porque sería not lose. She wouldn't have lost so much money. Mire, hasta el punto tienes que poner. Porque mm -hmm. si no pones el punto, está bien frito. ¿A mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿ves aquí cómo es? Solo, sí. Yo le estoy dando aquí el ejemplo, pero ya vamos a ver a detalle, chicos, otra vez ese tema, porque necesito que ustedes lo entiendan bien. Lo he preparado tanto en español como en inglés. Así que miren que ha he hecho un esfuerzo sublime, ¿eh? porque para mí en español me cuesta un poquito. Muy bien. Vamos al segundo. If team, tenemos entre paréntesis not attend, ¿verdad? Significa que la parte primera del if tiene que ser negativa. The meeting, coma, he, y aquí estamos miss the change to get a promotion, ¿verdad? Va a ser positivo. Entonces, veamos acá. ¿Cómo sería? If Tim hadn't attend the meeting, coma, he would have missed the change or the chance, sorry, to get promotion. Bien, punto también. Ahí vamos, ¿ve? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? No, teacher. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué pasó, Termita? But I wrote Ajá. Same, same to you. ¿Será la coma que same no la tienes it, bien? The apostrophe. El apostro a veces el apostrofe. Porque acuérdate que hay dos clases de apostrofe. Una que es como coma, que es la que tenemos aquí, y otra que es como una gotita para abajo. Si tú pones la gotita para abajo, es, ya te la agarró mal. Eso, hasta eso tienes que cuidar la apostrofe. But I tried it. You try it? Y ya yes. tuviste el puntito? The two option. I tried two option. And, and yeah. uh, pusiste el punto. Sí. Pusiste y la mayúscula. Y el, incluso yeah. el mayúscula como de team también. También. Uh -huh. No dejaste espacio. Lo borré como siete mil veces. Oh my God. <risa> y así y las... lo tiene igual. 
y las cinco están malas. Ya voy a ver ahí. Me vas a mandar un screenshot, ¿oíste? Ok. Me vas a mandar un screenshot, porque si lo tienes así, tienes que ver muchas cosas. Si no dejaste mucho espacio, incluso si dejaste mucho espacio al principio de if, también puede ser. En la coma. Eh, que hayas puesto bien el, el verbo. Que también haya punto, porque si no pusiste el punto, también te lo puede poner malo. Mira. ¿Los tienen bien? ¿Los tienen así, chicos? ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es el, el pasado participio de listen? Listen it. All right. Muy bien. ¿Y cuál es el pasado? O el pasado participio, mejor, de understand. Understood. Understood. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos a ver el cuarto. If Frank. ¿Cuál es el pasado de no? Del pasado participio, perdón. De no. New. No. No, non. El pasado non. es new y el pasado uh, participio non. Very good. Por eso les decía yo lo de los verbos. Mira. Entonces vamos a ver. If Frank had known you were at the office, coma, he, o sea, tenemos que usar el would have, ¿se recuerdan? He would have told you stayed in work late hours. Mm -hmm. Y la última, miren. If the company had not invested in a new building, we, pueden decirle, pueden, pueden hacer la contracción, como le dice yo aquí, miren, would, Oh, we would, como ustedes quieran. We'd have find, we have had to share cubicles. ¿Sí? Have had. Have had. Acuérdense que después del would está have y después had. ¿Sí? Acuérdense que siempre vas a decir would have, or could have, or might have. En el third conditional, guys, tienen la, la opción de poder usar would, could, or might. Cualquiera de esos. No te preocupes, Katy, que yo sé que ahorita tienes una gran question mark, ¿verdad? Tienes una cara de... No. Pero no te preocupes. Ahorita quiero ver la, la plataforma con ustedes y ya después me voy a detener en la explicación de cada uno de los um, tiempos, ¿les parece? Así que no se me preocupen y no se me pongan tristes. Muy bien. Eh, Dígame. Eh, sorry, could you please check the... O oh, maybe... Francisco. Yes, the answer for check the in my computer because I don't know if mm, the uh, face uh, is what showing answer? the same. This one? Yes. Or this one? No, no, no. This one? Two. Yes. Bye. Two. Okay, mira, te, te explico. If, mira. if she had uh -huh. checked yes. the stock Market reports, coma. Yes. She wouldn't have uh -huh. lost so much money. Yes, punto. Y punto. Ahora bien, fíjate I... en algo. Porque también tienes que ver si después del coma no pusiste eh, pegadito de la coma el she. Esa es una. Porque hay okay. muchas personas que lo ponen reports, coma, y no ponen espacio, sino que ponen de un solo el she. Ahí también okay. te la puede poner mal. Mm, between report and she. Tiene que haber un espacio. Sí, between reports and she hay una coma, y después de la coma hay un espacio. Okay. Mira, porque si lo pusiste pegadito, te lo va a poner malo. Y, si, y mira también este, ¿ve? esto quiero que veas. Deja ver. Ta, ta, ta. Yes. This one. Tienes que tener cuidado en ya te digo cuál. Espérate. Vamos con este. Tienes que tener cuidado en esta parte. En esto. Ay, ay, porque es que se me va. Bueno, vamos a ver acá. Sí, aquí vamos a hacerlo. En esta parte, mire. Donde vas a hacer la negación. Aquí, igual que Telmita. Esto. El, el, el apostrofe, you gotta be careful with the apostrophe. Porque si te va el otro, te lo va a agarrar como mal. Pues, revisaré eso. Entonces. Revísalo. Re Mira, son cositas pequeñitas, pero que son muy importantes a la hora de escribir. 
Yeah. Igual acá, yeah. mira, lo mismo. Siempre tienes que fijarte que después del if por va la coma y ves que aquí siempre hay espacio. Yes. Entonces, hasta eso, porque si lo pones así, mira, se te quita el cheque. ¿Ves? Sí. Se lo pone malo. ¿Va? Mira, con el cheque sí. Va, ve, veamos a ver si, si, en el, si, con el, si en el cheque te lo, te lo va a poner malo. A ver, te vamos a quitarlo aquí. Quiero ver. Va, lo voy a poner juntito, a ver qué me dice. Mira. ¿Ves que me lo pone malo? Sí. ¿Va? Precisamente porque yo lo tengo, mira, cerquita. Pero si yo hago esto, space, y mira otra vez, mira, ahí sí ya me lo agarro. Uh -huh. ¿Ves por qué es, es importante? Sí, es cierto. O sea, hasta eso, mira, hasta eso, eh, tienen que tener cuidado con el uso de la plataforma. Y acá, pues, esto, esta parte es bien sencilla, la 3. Porque aquí todos los te dicen problemas, Deadlines are met. Deadlines es como las, las metas que, que tienes tú para, entregue, para un, te entregar un día específico de tu trabajo. Eh, el staff performance, es decir, qué tan, qué tan bien están haciendo el trabajo lo, el, el grupo de personas. El staff, que es la gente, el grupo con que tú, tú, tú trabajas y la creatividad. Entonces tú tienes que elegir acá cuál de las opciones o cuál de los verbos va mejor para describir eso. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir Improve problems, mejorar problemas. Motivate progress, motivar problemas. Identificar problemas o desarrollar problemas. ¿Cuál crees tú? O asegurarme los problemas. ¿Cuál de estos verbos va de acuerdo con la palabra problema? Mira. Identify. Identify. Identificar. Muy bien. Muy bien. Deadlines are met. Asegurarse de que las, la, los tiempos meta, los tiempos este, tope para entregar las actividades están cumplidos. ¿Cuál sería? Desarrollar, identificar, mejorar o motivar o asegurar. Ensure. Very good. Miren. Mejorar el rendimiento del equipo. Improve the staff performance. Miren. El staff, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Para poder improve, no necesito mejorar. Y la creatividad la tengo que desarrollar. Entonces, mira, ahí está. ¿eh? ¿Ves? Tienes que como identificar cuál de estas palabras es la que más se apega o que el verbo se, se apega para terminar con, con las, bueno, con lo que sigue, ¿verdad? De, de la sentence. Y por último... Tenemos el who y el that. A veces tú puedes usar el who y el that con dos. A veces solo puedes usar el who, a veces solo puedes usar el that. Mira. Aquí tengo. Mira. The specialists you recommend were excellent. ¿Puedo usar los dos o solo uno? Yo no estoy hablando de alguien, yo estoy hablando de los especialistas en general, estoy hablando de una profesión, no de un sujeto específico. Mira, yo no puedo hacer the specialists who you recommend were excellent. The specialists that you recommend were excellent. Mira, mira aquí la segunda. When is the meeting that the boss schedule? No, well, puedo decir yo, when is the meeting who the boss schedule? Mira que no. No sale. Tiene que ser that the boss schedule, porque el that estoy refiriéndome a la meeting, y la meeting es una cosa. Mira aquí. I met a lawyer. You may want to add to your contact list. I met a lawyer who you may want to add or that you may want to are. En este particular, en esto sí, como estoy hablando de, de un lawyer, de una persona en específica, aquí sí puedo usar tanto el both, el that, como el who. En el cuarto, estoy hablando de un building, de algo, de un lugar en específico, solo puedo usar that. Y aquí, como estoy hablando de los colegas, es decir, ya un grupo de personas en específico, puedo usar tanto el, el who como el that. Si yo lo submit, tengo los 25 puntos exactos. Y eso es todo el midterm. Es sencillo, ¿verdad? ¿O no? 
No. No, no, Bradis. No, because I was I was filling out um the typing one. Uh huh. And actually, I was actually typing how you were explaining right now in part two. Uh huh. And all of them came out wrong. Uh huh. Déjame ver qué es. Espérame. Vamos a ver si te doy chance de poder share your screen. Mm. Trata de ver si puedes share your screen. Ok. Trata de ver, perdón. Ah, disable. Disable? Qué raro, yo sé que te estoy permitiendo. Que okay, hazme un favor, mándalo a WhatsApp, por favor. Oh. Here's the answers. Yes, the answer, yes. Okay. Okay. Just give me a second. Just let me know where you have sent, please. Because um, I open in WhatsApp from my computer. Yeah, that's okay. Take your time, no rush. When you have sent it, let me know. Directly to you or on the... No, 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 on the group. Okay. Si no es porque no te quiere. Nadie me quiere, todos me odian. No. Quiero jugarme con un gusanito. <laughs> You're so crazy. That's one. Okay, that's one. All right. Is it correct or is it wrong? Uh, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Yes, it's I will wrong. let you know why. I will let you know why. Let's see which one. Oh, yes, we have here. It's a, it's wrong, but I will let you know why. Okay, take a look. Yeah. Take a look. If she had checked the meeting comma, she wouldn't have lost so much. You see, that is not the comma. Take a look at the take a look at the at the, at the apostrophe. Yeah. That's not the apostrophe you used to that you must use. Mm -hmm. And the pronoun, maybe. And the she pronoun? Knew. Yes, he used she and then he. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. Exactly. Yes, Freddy. Take a look. Uh, he and then he. You see? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, well, let me try now then. Okay. Let me put it here. This one. That's the one. If she had. Uh -huh. No, it's still incorrect. What? Let's see. Let's find it out. Let's send it. Está combinado dos, 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 dos oraciones. Ajá. Aquí es de, de inventory. ¿A dónde estás? ¿Ya lo mandaste otra vez? No. H es R T S. ¿Quién está oyendo música? It is she had no Mm. If she had checked the meeting, he no, would have meeting. lost so much money. Why you put he? Es que no es de meeting. Ah, es, no, es el inventario. Ah, déjame ver. ¿Qué número es? La dos, ¿verdad? 
Está combinado la 1 y la 2. Ah, ya ves. La 2.8. Ajá. Ajá. Come on, Freddy. Freddy. O sea, tendría que ser así, mira. Mira. If she had checked the stock market reports, comma, she wouldn't have lost so much money. Number two. Fíjate en la coma también. Mira, aquí está la comita, ve. La mía es así como en diagonal y la tuya es vertical. Esa es la número dos, Freddy. Esa es la número dos. La uno. Ah, la uno. Sí. Déjame ver la uno, pues. Ah, ah, sí, la uno. Tienes toda la razón, Doris. Trata de ponerlo otra vez, Freddy. Ok. La coma siempre, quizás. Sí. Es que tienes pero, que ver con de sea, las dos. Pero la coma, la, o sea, para como a veces no encuentro esa coma, lo que hago es el autocorrection del de la computer. Y ella me lo y still must be wrong. ¿En serio? Trata yeah, de tra la, copiar lo que acabo de dar. Trata de copiarla. And put it there. A ver si te que sale. Okay. Yes. With that comma, yes. Hoy sí, ve, Jessy. Mm -hmm. I told you. <laughs> I'm copy. I just You're copy, copy that. paste, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Jessy. No, 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 just the, the comma. The comma, right? Is the, the yeah. comma makes a difference. The apostrophe uh -huh. in this case. Yeah, yeah. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque el, el, el apostrophe de inglés es la comita así como diagonal. Uh -huh. Pero la que es vertical es la que usamos en francés. Mm. O eso es que te da lata. Yeah. ¿Ah? Copiando la suya me la marcó bien. Ya ve que le dije. Por el amor de Dios, señor. A mí no me quiere la plataforma. Yo le dije. Yo le dije. Pura vida, señor. Pura vida. Right, Elvita. Pura vida. Hoy sí, señor. Don Freddy. Don no. Freddy. Qué raro se oye. One out of 25. Out of... Ok, you see. You try. No te las voy a dar todas. ¿eh? Ah, eso no se vale. Why not? <laughs> why not? Come on, why not? Shame on you, Freddy. <laughs> Pero ve, 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 Jesse, ve, Freddy, ve, Francisco, ¿cómo es la cosa? Yeah. ¿Sí? Sí. Comita, comita. It's crucial. Si usted no pone la comita de que está ahí, está frito. Pero es que, bueno, no sé si es la configuración de la computadora que no me... Puede ser. Ajá. Uh -huh. Acuérdese yeah, que yeah. la computadora, bueno, en el caso de la mía... Tiene en español de salvadoreño, tiene, eh, tiene español internacional y tiene inglés. Bueno, y francés si yo quisiera añadir otra más. Pero, pero tiene que ponerlo en el inglés para que usted, pues, se le... No, yo la tengo en inglés. Igual pero... yo la tengo en inglés. Pues no la quiere, entonces. <risa> la plataforma es la que nos hace bullying. De verdad, ¿cree usted que es la plataforma? Yeah. Justice. Va a creer que a la, la plataforma le está echando la culpa. Va, por ejemplo, si usted lo pone en, um, en inglés y usted en el teclado está después de la ñ, está como unos corchetes, creo que se dice en español, ¿verdad? Corchetes. ¿ya? Entonces tú le das clic ahí, esa es la que estás poniendo y la que está mal. Pero imagínese, le estoy, le estoy copiando la coma que usted me mandó para ponerle en la otra y todavía me las marca mal. ¿En serio? Ajá. Sí. No lo quiere. No lo quiere. Pero, pero la que yo le acabo de mandar, la acaba de poner y, le, y se la puso mala. Ya. Yeah. No oh, puede God. ser. No, a mí sí. A mí Ay, sí a la Jessy le salió bien. Sí. O sea, la que me mandó, sí, me salió bien. Pues lo sí, que por estoy, eso. O sea, estoy, estoy copiando lo que son las comas para agregárselas a las, a las siguientes. Ajá. A mí sí me lo me lo me lo sea, le entiendo de todos los demás. El texto lo copié, lo copié y lo pegué. La primera me salió bien, pero para la siguiente solo le estoy copiando la coma para que me salga bien. 
Yo también, Freddy, me ha salido bien. Al menos a mí me ha salido bien. A mí no. <risa> no me no te, quiere. No te quiere. Me envía la segunda, vamos a ver. Me envía tu casa en blanco. Me envía la segunda, vamos a ver la segunda. Share with us. Share. Ya me vas a cargar. <laughs> Is it if Tim hadn't attended? ¿Cómo Or fue? had not. ¿Cuál va? Esta. ¿Cuál es? Ah. If Tim, acuérdese que Tim tiene que ponerlo con mayúscula. Uh -huh. yeah, you gotta put it in capital letter, right? Have if, Ooh. the I of if in capital letter, and Tim with the, the T in capital letter. Yeah, because Tim is a proper name. Yeah. And then um, what's next? Next is um, hadn't. Hadn't? Yeah, because it, it's a negative, right? Not attend. Mm -hmm. Hadn't attend. But I attended. The meeting, comma, space. Meeting, comma. Mm -hmm. He would have missed uh, uh, the chance to get a promotion. Period. Yeah, he would have missed. Yes, miss or miss with the ED missed. No, with the mm -hmm. ED. Yeah, I have it with the ED and wrong. And double S? Yes. I send it right now. Enviala, Freddy. Queremos ver. Okay. I send my one right now. Uh -huh. I send mine. my one. What is yours? This We're one. still waiting for yours. Okay. If Tim hadn't attended the meeting, coma. Ah, you see, he would have, have and, and have his present. Have, yes, yes, no has. Is has. Is have. Aquí está, ve. Es, usted uh -huh. puso had. Y had es en el if part, porque acuerda que es el past participle. Y aquí es would have. Yeah. Okay. Ah, y usted pone change. Y no es change, es chance. Uh -huh. Es chance. Oh. Chances, opportunity, change is cambio. Remember that, right? One letter makes a difference. Trate de volverlo a hacer otra vez, pues, Fred. Vamos, pues. Tú puedes, tú puedes. Tú puedes, paga, tú puedes. los colombianos, pues. Ya, yeah, tú puedes. Tú puedes, paisa. ¿Qué pasó, paisa? ¿Qué pasó, pues? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, mijo? <laughs> uh, Fernando, ¿cómo vas tú? Are you okay with that? Uh, I already finished the midterm. Ay, excuse me. And how much you got? No. Yeah, and how much you got by any chance? Did you pass with a Honda? <laughs> Did you pass with a Honda? Yeah, I, with, with a Honda. Honda. With a hundred. With a Honda. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. Oh Two hours later. ¿Sabes por qué te hago ese tono of voice? Porque si Freddy te puede decir, not everybody has the same pronunciation. Yeah. Especially the bronze guys and the black guys. Yeah. Mm. I know. Oh, yes. Yeah, I can feel it. Dice, en vez de decir, yeah. alguien dice, oh my God, it's oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh my God, so you nice. need to like, see, por eso te digo la Honda. <laughs> okay, so how much you got? Fernando, how much you got? Okay, <laughs> very good. Excellent. Good job. Freddy, ¿cómo vas? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible? Yeah. Send it. Come on, Come on Freddy. Hey. Can you believe it in the... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Now the more you say you still help people, now they're helping me. <laughs> okay, I used I I sent it to you the right one. Yeah, the, um, the, for the second one, yeah, I'm correcting the other ones. Ah, okay, cool. Vaya, así que ya, ven, ven como es la cosa, ¿verdad? Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. I told you, uh, oh, uh, that, oh, I promise you that I will do a recap for the third and, um, and the first condition, porque fueron los dos que vimos. However, les voy a mandar a ustedes un como un, uh, ¿cómo le podría decir? 
como un cuadro, un cuadro didáctico, right? Que explica los, los, todos los conditionales, desde el zero, first, second, and third. Les voy a dar las fórmulas y al mismo tiempo, examples and when to use it, ¿ok? Eso vamos a ver. I know, porque necesito que lo aprendan bien. Por eso es que me estoy esforzando muchísimo por hablar español. Porque a mí me cuesta un mundo. <risa> pero ahí voy. Pero hasta ahorita espero que lo haya hecho bien. Ok, guys. Entonces, vamos a ver. Vamos a empezar acá. Lo he puesto primero en inglés. Y después se lo puedo poner en español. Ok. okay. Vamos a ponerlo un poquitico más grande, ¿ya? Un poquito más grande. ¿Está, está bien? ¿Lo ven bien? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Sí? ¿O no? Sí. Yeah. Ya, yeah? ok, cool. Vean, primero necesito que se enfoquen en esto, que es el first conditional. Vamos a ver esto por acá, aquí arriba. El first conditional. ¿Para qué se usa el first conditional, guys? To talk about things that might happen in the future if a condition is present. En otras palabras, el, 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 el first conditional se utiliza para cosas que probablemente vayan a pasar en un futuro. O sea, usted no está totalmente seguro, sino que cabe la posibilidad de que pasen si se da una condición previa, en presente. We don't know if those things will happen or not, but they are real possibility. Miren un ejemplo. O sea que el first conditional es la, la parte if presente, la parte de, la, de lo que pueda pasar futuro, ¿sí? Es, esa es la fórmula del first conditional. Ya lo vamos a ver más adelantito más. Entonces, mira el ejemplo. If you study, si usted estudia, you'll pass, ¿verdad? Para que usted pase, para que se cumpla la condición de que usted pase, usted tiene que estudiar, ¿verdad? A veces puede ser que usted estudie y aún así no pase, ¿verdad? Esa es una posibilidad, ¿sí? Miren otro, por ejemplo. If he doesn't call you, si él no te habla, tell me immediately. Dímelo. ¿Sí? Un ejemplo, miren. Ve, ve eso. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Hola. ¿Estamos bien o no estamos bien? Sí. Ok. Sí. Este es bien fácil, ¿verdad? El third conditional es al revés. Miren una cosa. Creo que estaba, aquí era como la diferencia o lo que tenía un poquito de confusión Telmita o Doris, no sé. Creo que algunos de ustedes también. El third conditional es para hablar de hipotético o imaginary situations, pero in the past. ¿Y qué hacemos ahí? Para el if, we can use the past perfect simple or past perfect continuous in the if clause. Y en el resultado, we can use would, could, or might, más the perfect infinitive. Le doy un ejemplo. If you have come to class more often, si tú hubieras venido a la clase más seguido, you would have passed the test. Hubieras pasado el examen. Sí, if you haven't been late, sí, no, you, I wouldn't have been late, yo no hubiera llegado tarde, if I haven't overslept, si no me hubiera dormido. ¿Estamos bien hasta allí? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? ¿Sí? Yes. Yes. Ok, that is in English, pero les he preparado algo en español. Sé que Freddy me va a odiar por eso, pero es importante. Pero necesito que ustedes lo comprendan muy bien. All right, there you go. Vamos a la parte de español. Um, I'm gonna put it, ¿Quiere que los ponga, lo ponga grande? ¿Sí? Better, ¿verdad? ¿Es mejor? ¿Sí? Ok, cool. Yeah. Vaya, vea eso. Vamos a poner otro, 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 otro color. Vamos a usar diferentes colores. Mira el first conditional. Vaya, vea que lo que hace referencia es algo muy posible que pase. Ejemplo. Si estudio... Aprobar el examen. If I study, I will pass the exam. ¿Verdad? Sencillo. ¿Cuál es la estructura? If, 
más present, consecuencia, futuro simple. ¿Sí? La condición va en presente y el resultado va en futuro. Sencillo. Ve aquí otro ejemplo un poquito más eh, um, profundo. El primer condicional, mire cuándo se utiliza para hablar de posibles futuros o resultados. Es decir, que usted especula desde un presente y el futuro del que hablamos es algo probable. Si esto ocurre, es decir, si el if part ocurre, entonces el will part va a ocurrir. Por ejemplo, si no te das prisa, perderás el tren. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? O bueno, podríamos decir, eh, si no te das prisa vas a perder el avión. Un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Mire acá. If you don't hurry, es decir, you will miss the plane. Mire, si no te das prisa, perderás el avión. Sí, uno se basa en el desarrollo de situaciones reales, chicos, pero jugando con la posibilidad, pero sin que estas sean todavía cuestiones seguras. Es decir, hay una posibilidad de que eso pase. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Yes. ¿O no? ¿Seguros? Yes. Porque vamos a hacer yes. varios ejercicios después, no crean. Muy bien. Should we move forward? ¿Nos movemos? ¿Ya? Ok. Démosle, pues. El third conditional. Vamos a ver este, que este es uno de los que puede haber confusión. Um, deja ver. Déjame cambiar. There you go. Come on. Okay. Bye. Miren que este es muy parecido al segundo condicional. Yo se lo voy a dar después. Pero es algo que hubiese pasado en el pasado. Es decir, si lo hacemos con el mismo ejemplo anterior, mire lo que po podríamos tener un ejemplo parecido a este. Vea. Mire. Uh -huh. Si me hubiese tocado la lotería, si me hubiese tocado la lotería, pero no me tocó, vea. Tengo un ejemplo. Si me hubiese tocado la lotería, me hubiese comprado una casa nueva. If I had won the lottery, I would have bought a new house. Mire. Es algo que hubiera pasado en el pasado, pero no pasó, ¿verdad? Entonces, mire cuál es la, la fórmula. El if más el pasado perfecto, es decir, had y el pasado del verbo. Y la consecuencia, would, have, más el participio. Ve aquí otro ejemplo para que o un poquito más profundizado el third conditional. Dice que nosotros utilizamos esto para hablar de lo que podría haber sido diferente, pero que ahora ya no puede cambiarse o situaciones imaginarias del pasado con sus consecuencias, pero que nunca sucedieron. ¿Sí? Veamos un ejemplo. Si nos hubiésemos conocido de niñas, hubiéramos sido amigas. Si hubiésemos aceptado ese ascenso, hubiese estado trabajando en Roma. ¿Sí? Para construir este, el if, tenemos que utilizar el past perfect, seguido de the would, have y el past participle. Veamos un ejemplo. If I had accepted that promotion, I would have been working in Rome. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos bien hasta aquí? ¿O no? Oli. Sí. sí. ¿Hoy está un poquito más clarito? Sí. Ya ven que tenía que usar este español. Que miren que he estado practicando casi toda la tarde para poder hablar lo mejor que pueda. ¿Me, me han entendido? ¿Sí? ¿Me he podido dar a entender en español? Sí, okay. tengo. Sí. Dime. I have a, da I have have a, a doubt. doubt. Yeah, go ahead. Doubt, yes. And, yes, uh, go ahead. The second part of the, the, the sentence, when you use, I would have been. Um, I would have been working. Could, cha could change the uh, wool for could for cool. Yes, you can use could. Right. 
Yeah, you can use could, you can use should, you can use might, and you can use may. Of course, depends on but what is exactly the meaning, right, that you would like to, to express. Puedes usar el, el could, el should, el might. Mira, por ejemplo, este. Let's double check the second, this example. Mira. If I had lived longer, or if he had lived longer, si él hubiera vivido más tiempo, ¿no? O más, he might have written a novel. Si él hubiera vivido más tiempo, probablemente he might have written a novel. Hubiera escrito una novela. Right? Let's go would, let's go might. Depende el significado que yo le quiera dar. ¿Me entiendes, Telmita? You understand right now? Aún no entiendo en qué momento ocupa el ¿Sí? might y el may. May es como, es un poco más certero la cosa. Might es como una probabilidad, algo que hubiese pasado. ¿Tú no, ¿No sabes cuál es la diferencia entre may, might, couldn't, should, no? El should, lo, yo lo ocupo como una um, sugerencia obligada. Ajá. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. mm, si hubieses hecho no. tal cosa. No, el eh, should es, es como, should, era como más, deberías más sugerencia. De, oh, Ajá. Deberías de. Who okay. es podrías que. Uh -huh. May, de, como permiso, may I come in? Uh -huh. uh, but. Uh, ah, es que quizás voy a tener un poco más de. Eh, ¿Cómo emplearlo? Uh -huh. Might. Sí. Exacto. Ah, Ahí mira. voy a trabajar más. Para... Lo que pasa es que fíjate que may. Eh, el may prácticamente es un verbo modal que se utiliza para indicar posibilidad, pero también para pedir permiso de manera adecuada, educada, como lo que tú acabas de decir. Uh -huh. Pero might es, también es un verbo modal, pero que se utiliza únicamente para indicar posibilidad o probabilidad. Y might indica menor probabilidad que may. ¿Me entiendes? Pero el mismo significado tiene con who. Exacto. La dif mm, no tanto. ¿Por qué Ese dices fin. tú que, que, que tiene el mismo significado? Porque es probabilidad. Ajá. Probabilidad o posibilidad. Es que en los contextos de la oración es cuando yo me, me pierdo si puedo ocupar el might. Ya casi el, el Q y el might. Ah, ¿sabes lo que pasa? Sí, eh, eh, tiene, por ejemplo, lo, ambos se pueden usar para personas, eh, también porque están, están utilizándose para request, o possibility, pero una de las diferencias que tiene entre, entre could y may es que may, you can only use it in the first person reference. No puedes usarlo en the second o en the third person. Um, Esa es una de las grandes diferencias. Yeah, por ejemplo, could can be used with a third model wants to seek permission, but when it comes to using may, only the I can be used as the subject. So you can only use it with, may you can only use it with a first person, but could, you, you can use it with third and with second person. Esa es una de las grandes diferencias. Ah. Hoy sí. Entonces, el cool. Es para, ajá. Sí. para ajá para you sí. y pero you. 
El may solo it, se utilizar para first person. May. No, el may, el may. May. Porque tú no puedes decir, may she. No. May she can go. No, vea que no. No. Pero tú puedes decir, could she. Yes. ¿Verdad yes. que sí? Puedes decir, it could, could I. Be, could it, we. It. Could they. ¿Verdad que sí? Yeah, yeah. Pero tú solo puedes decir, may I. Yes. Pues sí, ¿verdad? ¿Sabían okay. eso, chicos? Yes. Yeah. Podría yo. Ajá. May I. Pero no puedes pero... decir, may she. May we. No estás ya hablando francés. Es me we, right? Me we. Mm -hmm. No. Ya, me ya, we. Ya, <laughs> ah, me oui, ça français. Pero me mm -hmm. oui, no existe pa mm -hmm. en anglais. Mm -hmm. No existe en inglés. ¿Verdad? Hoy sí. Mm -hmm. Telmita, hoy sí, estamos mejor. Yes, I get it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, cool. Ya ve. Para eso estamos. Para que entiendan. A mí no me interesa pasar a otro tema si usted anda en modo avión en este tema. No way. Yo les dije, ¿usted va a entender gramática conmigo o lo va a entender? Muy bien, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer ejercicios, ¿les parece, chicos? Yeah, we're going to do exercises, yeah. writing exercises yeah. right now. So let's double check. Vamos a ver qué ondas aquí. Déjenme ver. The third conditional ya está. Vaya. Vaya, chicos. Ahorita vamos a compartir con ustedes. Vamos a hacer dos grupitos para que sea así como más rápido Vaya, ya les voy a mandar ahorita por what, el primero, the first one, the first example. Eh, va a ser un writing, el primero, no se me complica la existencia, porque el primero va a ser solo, only, 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 first conditional exercise, solo eso. Sí, ya lo mandé. Did you receive it? Did you receive it, guys, already? Yeah, did you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so we are 16, that means... Two group of eight, right? And two group of more dividir ya. All right. Okay, guys, work on that. We have 10 sentences. Casi son similar to what you supposed to do on the platform. Lo que acabamos de revisar en el midterm. Pero we are 9.33. At 9.38, we come back. Nemole. Please accept the invitation, guys. Work together. Glendita, Doris, Alexander, please join the class. Glendita, join the class. Join your group, Glendita. Very good. Alex and Glendy, Glendy, we're missing. Let's double check. First way you got Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> remember, you gotta remember. Would you like me to share the, um, the formula? of the first conditional and the third conditional just for you to have it? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. All right, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share the formula right now. Actually, I'm gonna share with you the all the conditionals, the if clause uh, formula and the main clause formula. Thank you. Yeah. Just allow me a couple of minutes more. Okay. Gonna okay. send it right now with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just recently sent it, please. All right, work together, okay? Oh, you still have four minutes to complete it. Let me double check the other guys. Okay. Okay, okay. okay guys, any doubts, any questions right now? Mm -hmm. Not for the no? moment. Okay, I just no recently one. sent it to you guys in WhatsApp, the instructor, a little, a little, uh, box right now which explains to you the conditionals the if clause a uh, part what is exactly the burden that you need to put and the main clause what is the burden that you need to put so you can double check that when you're doing this writing exercise okay you got 
three more minutes to finish. Okay, the second one is you get back late. I will be. I will be angry. Okay. If we, if we don't see each other tomorrow, we will see each other next week. Mm -hmm. Number four. This week on, I will be surprised. The other one, if we wait here, we will be late. Number six, uh, Fernando. Number six. Yeah. Is we wait here? We will be late. No, number six. If we. Ah, is we, if we go on holiday this summer, we. We. No. Mm. The first one in present and the second part in future. Well, in future plus verb we'll this four. Mm -hmm. We'll go. Is we go on holiday this moment, we will go to Spain. In the seven is the weather doesn't right yeah doesn't improve we will know how does it improve mm -hmm. if the weather doesn't improve we won't have um we won't, uh -huh. we won't have a picnic yeah a picnic if I don't go to bed early. Finish? I... Mm, yes. 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 All right. Yes. All right. Let's, let's double check, right? Now. Don't worry if you have not finished. That's okay. Okay. All righty. How was the exercise? How was it? Was it hard? Was it interesting? For the moment, the first condition is not too difficult at it's all. It's not too difficult, right? No, of course but not. But the others are difficult. Uh huh. I know. <laughs> but I want you guys to understand uh, when to use it, how to use it, and the formula. That's, and the only way is to practice. There you go. So we have nine. We're still waiting for the rest of the guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty, but let me share right now my screen with you. Because I want you guys to help me right now figure it out. This. All right, there you go. Okay, I think they sent it to you this exercise, right? I'm going to put it right now a little bit bigger. This is the exercise, right, guys? Okay. If I out tonight, I to the cinema. Hey, okay, Fernando, can I have the first sentence, please? Hey, if I go out tonight i will go to the cinema very good excellent and joshi what about number two if you back late i angry if you get back late i will be angry very good telmita number three please if we not see each other tomorrow we each other next week Remember, it's present, right? Present. Uh-huh. 
I think tell me that you have your microphone off. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. That's okay. Um, William, what do you have for number three? If, if we, we if we don't see each uh, other tomorrow, uh -huh. we will see each other next week. Very good, excellent. Kenya, what about number four? What do you have? If we go if we or with he or, or if he. Uh, yeah. If he come, I will be surprised. If he come or if he comes? If he comes. Very yeah. good, excellent. Uh-huh. Okay, very good, Francisco. Excellent. And what about number five, Doris? If we, if we wait here, uh -huh. we will be late. Very good, excellent. Mr. Irwin, number six. Number, uh -huh. six. number six if yes please go if we go on holiday this summer we will go to spain very if, good yes, yes. excellent if good job go yes holiday, it's good summer, okay, so. very good Josue, what about number seven what you have for us if uh, the weather uh, don't improve. Don't or does not improve? Does not improve. Uh-huh. We, we don't have a picnic. We won't have a picnic. Very good. Remember that the negative will oh, yeah, exactly. is won't, right? Yeah. You can yeah. say we will not or you can say we, we won't. won't. Very we good. Won't. Excellent. Good job. And let me double check. Mm -hmm. Madeline, what about number eight? What do you have for us? If if I don't go to bed early, I will be tired tomorrow. Yes, very good. That's true. Excellent. Good job. Katia, what about number nine? What do you have for us? Hey, sorry, number one. Number nine, yes. Nine. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. If we eat all this cake, we'll feel uh, sick. Very good, excellent. And Andresito, the last one, please. Last one. If you don't want to go out, mm -hmm. I sure that I can see. I cook dinner at I, home. I will cook dinner at home. Very good. So we can say that, guys, that is easy peasy queasy, right? Right? Yes, the choice. Okay, it's easy. Yeah, I'm going to share another exercise with you. Okay, this one I want you to help me do it together. Okay, let me put it a little bit bigger. Okay, what about this one? I want you to match the information in part A with the information in part B. The number one, we already have it. So we're good on that. You see? Mm -hmm. Number one is C. We're good. What about number two? If you wash the dishes? I will dry them. I will dry them. Very good. Letter F, right? Excellent. Yes. N number three. If you, you know, you will make grandma very happy. If you visit her today. Very good. If you visit her today, excellent. If it doesn't stop raining. Well, we, we won't be able to play basketball. Very good, excellent. John won't be tired. If he goes to bed soon. If he goes to bed soon, excellent. And the last one, the baby won't sleep. You you make make so much much noise. Very good. Good job. 
All right, now guys, we have here the sentences already and we have in bold color the possible verbs that we can use. So I just want you guys to basically circle the correct words. Let's double check the first one. Andrew will water the garden if he comes or will come home? Comes home. Comes. Um, Why? Because the first part is already the will. Yeah, will. So the if will part, it got to be in present, right? If, and it's a third person. If we yeah, this one. Very good. Take a look at number two. We will buy our tickets if we will have uh, or have enough money. Have, have enough, enough money. money. Have enough money. Very good. Number three. We will be late for the show unless you hurry or will hurry. hurry. Oh, right. Harry, yes, because we already have the wheel part. Number four, I umbrella if it's rain. I will, I will, I will take, take the umbrella. umbrella. An umbrella, very good, excellent. If it a nice day tomorrow, we we will go for a bike ride. If it is, if it is, very good. He won't cross the road unless he, the green light. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We already have see. the wheel part oh, as a we'll negative see. way. Yeah, if he, uh, he says the green yes. light. Excellent job. Very good. You see, you are so smart. Very good. Now, here it comes the hardest part. I will share right now with you an exercise of third conditional, which is, this is kind of tricky, right? So you already have the formula there because I already sent it to you, okay? So I'm gonna share right now with you the exercises. This is kind of tricky, yeah. Okay, mm -mm 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 -mm. number one and number two are already filled out, but you need to like work from three to 10. So let me share right now my screen with you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wait, I, IT department, I almost finished. Okay, let me just click on here really quickly. There you go. Okay, I just sent it to you. Yeah, you did receive it? Cool. All right, so we are uh, 17 with me, but it's going to be like the same group. So I'm going to... Uh, create another two groups, okay? I'm going, going to create another two groups, but I'm going to switch some of you. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. Mm -hmm. Okay, I already created the first one. Okay, and I already created the second one. Okay, guys, please accept the invitation. We're gonna work together again. Gandhi, Doris, and Alexander de Jesus, please accept the invitation. Let's double check this, guys. Hey, guys, do you know what to do in this one? Yep. Yes. I think number yes. one and number two, yep. you already have that like an example, right? So just basically work with the verbs that are in parentheses, but don't forget the formula. You can double check it in the one that I sent WhatsApp. Today is nine, uh, right now is 9.50. I will give you until 9.55 to finish. Okay. okay, let thank me double you. check the other one. No, thank you. Let's double check the other guys. Ready, wait, you know what you're gonna do, yeah? Yes. Okay, just double check the first two sentences. This is like an example. And just use the verbs that are in parentheses and the rest one. Right now it's 9.50, I will give you five minutes. So at 9.55, we're gonna come back, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you. Is he have present? You mentioned, right? Yeah. If, no, if he has not 
we present un ah okay uh -huh. ah, we, because we have to use the the words that are in parentheses okay I think we will have Shane shake hands shake without, hands without. Restrain. Mm -hmm. Okay, muy bien. Por. Present. I think we will have shaken. Shaken. Without, without restrain. I had uh, written. I will. Uh, I will have been. Ah, es cierto. Aquí no empieza la estructura. Sí. Uh -huh. I would have written a greater than if I. I had, had thing. No, I had. I had talk. 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 That you were now capable of taking any pleasure in reading a letter. Mr. Theodosius had consulted the rigid maxim of interest and policy. His conduct would have been justified by his friends, but the generosity of the, this behavior on this memorable occasion has sought the applause of this one. Que larga esta oración. No es simple. Have consult in the first part and the other part is will have been. Six, no, six, I don't know if Erwin or someone else want to participate. <laughs> Which one? Number six. I think we will shake hands without restraint. If he if he wasn't present, if he had present, if he had not, what the? not present, no. we will just huh? continue, continue, sorry. <laughs> no, that we are using the third conditional. Mm -hmm. We are not using the first one. We are using the third one. Sí, por eso. Vale. Entonces, si va ahí el, if he had. Mm -hmm. ha, en um, negative. If he hadn't. Um, been present. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are using the verb be in the past participle. Which is the correct answer? Finish? Uh, no. Only three more to check. Only, okay. So we'll give you one more minute. Okay. <laughs> What happened? Wow, abuela, my goodness. <laughs> you almost killed my, my ears. My tympano. Like, what? You know what? I was. <laughs> yeah. You were, his lip was like, ow. Like, oh my goodness. 
<laughs> you are worse like my grandma. <laughs> my, grandma my grandma used to be like, a, ah, dude, like that. Like, like, oh my God. And everybody like, grandma has this on his knee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness you almost killed my ears you know how come that because of you okay <laughs> continue okay <laughs> okay number seven i wouldn't i wouldn't have believed i wouldn't believed it if i believed it hadn't lived believed Believed. Believed. Casi te ahorco. Very good. If I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I hadn't seen, 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 it. seen it. Seen it. Yeah. If my, if my neighbor, her neighbor, who had understood, had understood what I was attempting. What, what do you what think do you they would they, have said? They had said. Yeah. Nothing of all. No, them. they would. They would. They would have said. They would have said. They would. Would they? Say it. Yes. 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 Say it. Yeah. Nothing of. All all this, that. Nothing of all this would had happened if it uh -huh. how was this exercise? A little bit harder? Yeah, right. Yes. Because we gotta put our verb tense knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's double check. How was it? Let me share right now my screen with you guys. And I will need your help. But I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, promise. Gotta make it bigger. Okay, there's the there's the one. There you go. Okay, third conditional. All right. We already have the first and the second. Okay, that's good. But let's double check. Remember, in third conditional, the if part, you got to put the past of the verb have and the past participle of the verb. And in the would part, you got to use would, have, and the past participle of the verb. Okay, let's figure it out. If he present, I think we hands without restraint. And Fernando, what you have for number three? Uh, if he hadn't been present, I uh -huh. think we we would have shaken hands with our restraint. Very good. Excellent. Good job. What about number four? Yoshi, what you have for us? I would write a gray left if I have told that you were a no people was taking any pleasure in reading a letter. Very good. But can you please read for me again the first part? I what? I would written. I would or I would have. I would have, sorry. I would uh -huh. have written. Very good. Thank you. You're very good. Excellent job. Number five. Kenya, what do you have? Kenya, hello. Yes. Um, Very good. Uh, okay. If to do shoes. If to do shoes have consulted the rigid maxims of interest and policy, his conduct would have been justified by his, by his friends. But the generosity of his behavior on this memorable occasion has exhorted the a pleasure of this most inter inver I don't know no, no, no. Invetera, inveterate 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 enemy enemies. enemies yes a pleasure no a plus exhorted a plus exhorted a plus uh -huh. very good and 
interested in policy. Interested in policy. Very good. Behavior on his memorable occasion. Behavior on his memorable occasion. Excellent job, my dear. Good job. Andresito, what about number five? What number six, sorry, what you got for us? Number six, for a letter to months old, it did marvels if it had been a year old, it would have done miracles. Very good, good job. Number seven, Francisco, what you have for us for number seven? Francisco, Mr. Francisco. I hear, I hear, sorry. Okay, very good, that's okay. What you have for number seven? Uh, I? I have, no, I will have. Mm -hmm. I would have or I wouldn't have? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't yeah. have what? If, if I... Uh, I wouldn't have what? I wouldn't have what? Um, what is the verb? I wouldn't have? Believe. Uh-huh, I wouldn't have believed it. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. I wouldn't have believed it if I? Not see, try. If I not see. If I not see or if I had the? If I had not seen, I what do you think? What do you think, I guys? Have... Uh huh? If had not, I had it. Had not, if I had not, had hadn't or had not seen. Very uh, good. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Good try, Francisco. Good job. Doris, what about number eight? What do you have? If my neighbor, neighbors had understand understood i went again uh -huh. in my neighborhood is if my neighborhood had understood what i was attempting mm -hmm. what do you think they they have they had or they, they would have they would have uh -huh. they would have uh, uh, what I don't past, know. What's the pass of that? What's the past participle? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. Who knows? Say. Oh, okay. Say. Said. Said. Mm -hmm. Very good. Said. Excellent. Good job. Number nine. Uh, William, what do you have for us for number nine? William. Sorry, teacher. It's I okay. have to, to read. Sorry. Okay, cool. Okay. Number nine, right? Yes, please. Or uh, if he No, nothing of all this. Number nine. Nothing on all this. Ah, nothing, nothing of all this. Mm. Would have. Yeah, I would have. Uh, what? Would have happened. Uh -huh. Happened. Uh -huh. If it. Uh, if it uh, hadn't been. Hadn't or for had. Me. I hadn't. Hadn't been for me. Excellent. Hadn't been for me. Very good. And the last one, Freddy's, what you have for us? Freddy's not here. <laughs> it's a boat. Of course it is. It's a boat. Come on. <laughs> What you have? If he, let's see, for for the if is okay, that's perfect. Uh huh. If he, what? Hadn't. Uh huh. Hadn't done this. G, if yes. he hadn't done, if he hadn't done this, they. Uh huh. Uh -huh. They? They would. Uh huh. It in, they would it or they the, would have? They would. Well, they would have eaten up all the fruit. Very good. 
good, excellent. This exercise was a little bit harder, right? A little bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you an exercise for you to practice at home. And this exercise will involve all the conditionals. I send it to you the already done. Yeah, the square with all the conditional details. So I'm going to send it to you in a couple of minutes, okay? Do you like the practice? That makes you think, right? You gotta yes. put in practice everything that you have known, especially the verb tenses. All righty. Okay, guys. So we're good on that. I think I already spoken with, yeah, with everybody today. Yeah, but I'm gonna stay with Francisco today. Okay, so hugs and kisses. Have an amazing weekend, okay? Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Good, -bye. good night. Bye. 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 Enjoy your vacations. Hey, thank you. Bye, Nick. Enjoy your vacations. Thank you. I will send you pictures. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Except for you, Francisco. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Bye, Fernando. <gasps> he said, oh, yes. Why me? <laughs> well, because, because I haven't had no, the time no, to, to be a one-on-one -on -one session with you. Okay, Hi. thank you. How are you doing? Hello. How do you feel today? Ooh. Good? I think that is, yes. Fine. Fine. It's a I, heavy day. It was today a heavy was day? Yeah. Why? Tell me why. Uh, because I have uh, a lot of work. Mm, I can imagine that. Especially yeah. Friday, right? Yes, today is Friday. Um, Nobody knows. Some, <laughs> yes, you need to know some things about the about the jobs. Uh huh. Exactly. Because all person need to finish the uh, the what their tasks. Yes, or labores. The task. Mm -hmm, the task. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oof. At what time did you arrive back home today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally maybe 55, pardon, 5 no. or 6 p.m. Ooh, but today? Uh, today, ooh, 5, 26. Ooh, okay. It, it is in between, right? Between 5 and 6. Okay, so yeah. we can say that you arrived early today. Yes, however, I don't have enough time for my lunch. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What about, do yes, you already have your dinner? Yes. Oh, phew, okay. Yes, however, I have only 10 minutes for my lunch. Really? Why? Yes. Because I have too much work. You have a lot of work I, to do. <laughs> yes, I need, uh, I was to finish the report. Oh my God. My boss, um, yes. I can't imagine that. A very urgent. Ah, and a really, a really important report that you need to like present to your boss, like yes. a SAP, right? Yes, yes, I need a SAP this report. Oh my goodness. We need, yes, we need to order some accessories. I can't imagine that, especially because we're already finished the end of the month and start a new one, right? Yes, mm -hmm. um, the problem is that we need to buy some items mm. um, in Asia. In Asia? Yes. Oof. Okay, I can imagine that. That's the reason why. Tell me something. How do you feel about the class? How do you feel about the topics that we have seen so far? Good. I like it. You like it? Yes. Do you think you're learning? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you need more exercises, more speaking, reading, or writing exercises? Mm, yes, mm, reading because I have a I have a big problem with my pronunciation. Okay. Um, I know that I need to improve this. Yeah, so this course, with, pra with practice, with practice, practice makes Yes, perfection. I try. I try and, to practice sometimes. And you're However, doing good. Okay. <laughs> sometimes no. Sometimes uh, I don't know. It's very bad. 
no worry, it's part of the process. But if you make yeah. an extra effort and you're doing the best that you can, that's awesome. This Tell me idea. something. Uh, how do you feel about me? Do you have any feedback for Ooh. me? Mm, no, I like it, your metal. I'm crazy sometimes, right? Why? <laughs> no, no I, just... I, 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 I like your, your metal. Sure. You like it? Yes. Well, yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. All right. Yeah. Any, anything that you would like me to improve? No. no. The speaking now? A little no. bit faster? No, no, no. Okay. It's, it's, yes, I. Uh, I try to put more more attention. That's good. I for, know that it's me, hard. But you. I know that it's hard because you are have a lot of hard days, or maybe you are mentally and physically tired. But you're doing an extra effort to be in here, and I'm so happy. Every time that I okay. watch you and I watch all your classmates, I'm so happy because I understand that it's not easy especially the yeah. time, right, and the hour. But I'm yeah. really thankful for all the effort that you have done. And no, also, no, Francisco, you. for taking like extra time right now with the one-on-one -on -one session, you said like, what? Now it's going to be me, like, ah! I, will have, I haven't been prepared for that. But that's okay. Thank you so much for taking your extra time, okay? No, 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 thank you, you, because for, for learn, you, for sure, sorry, your knowledge with me, I'm the other, that's what I'm here for, to help you to improve your skills and to become a better English speaker. This is idea. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much. Okay, I, I, I'm going to leave you because I know that you are tired. Maybe you need to like drink a cup of coffee or something like that <laughs> or spend yeah. time with your family. But I really appreciated yeah. the time that you spent with us. So hugs and kisses. Have an amazing weekend, okay? Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Take care.